sparking tower infernos. Mysterious fires have hit 15 cell towers in the last six weeks. Lockdown led to meltdown. The attacks are thought to be linked to widely debunked conspiracy theories. They want war. They've got war, ladies and gentlemen. The towers are burning down. We've got new reports. 15 towers in New Zealand just recently. The authorities out there are investigating the matter. Why won't these tech companies take a hint? People don't want these death towers in their neighborhoods. It's obvious. The evidence is obvious. It's overwhelming. And what these news reporters won't tell you is that their salaries depend on big tech advertisement dollars. These people are not objective. They're not impartial. They're bought and paid for. And it gets worse because it's literally the news from the gates of hell. Pay attention to the anchor on the right. You can see the devil horns literally right there on his forehead and behind him are the gates of hell you can smell the sulfur of this beast system trying to manipulate you it's so bad and all they can say is conspiracy theories this is their expert look he's not an md he's not a doctor this guy came on the news he's like mr know everything and it's like Bill Gates, he's not a doctor. He's telling you, oh yeah, you need my vaccine, bitches. It's the best. Look at the devil horns, ladies and gentlemen. And look at these death towers burn. It's tremendous, to say the least. People are taking control of their own destiny. We've got tons of news to cover, but we wanted to share... The latest information coming through the wire. Big breaking news. 15 death towers burned to the ground in New Zealand. They're surrounding the death towers with, you know, we do not consent. No towers in our neighborhoods. And these paid shills on television that are getting all these corporate dollars from the big telecoms. They're like, oh, it's safe, bitches. You can trust us. Are they for real? They are for real. And they're going to send their goon squads after you to make sure that you comply, that you accept your radiation, that you accept your vaccines, that you accept the eugenics programs from the New World Order. You know, it's bad enough that they just bio-nuke the world with their bio-weapon super virus. But on top of that, they want to nuke you with these death towers. What's it going to take for these people to understand we don't want these death towers in our neighborhoods? They're radioactive. They're cancer-genic, if you will. And the evidence is overwhelming, to say the least. How's everybody doing out there? We're hacking the matrix, broadcasting live on the screw tube. Be sure to check out our website, STFN Report. Dot com. These new death towers are beaming you like the Starship Enterprise. That's the 5G. Surprise! Ladies and gentlemen, sign up today and get your dose. Look at these things. It's incredible. And of course, people are burning them to the ground. What is the video guy doing? Oh, it's a catastrophe in the studios ladies and gentlemen the video guy is fired of course we've got a lot of other news to cover oh wait there's more the sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on social media, media. This, this is extremely dangerous to our democracy repetition it is like the matrix out there you know what's for fire all at cell phone towers caused over a half million dollars damage Ooh. memphis investigators say all the fires were set intentionally intentionally but the epidemic out there 
of death towers being burned to the ground sends a clear message to the telecoms and the like people don't want these towers in their neighborhoods and you know this seems to be their modus operandi these days they don't ask you for your consent they don't ask you for your permission they just want to mandate their eugenics programs you can't say no to the vaccines you can't opt out of the radiation and people are saying no radiation without representation of course it's getting serious out there they're going to label this as domestic terrorism so everybody needs to be on their best on vacation of course we've got a couple other rock stars in canada we've got numerous death towers being taken down in memphis what is the video guy doing if you want to get the emf 390 it's 148 on amazon or 129 at our website stfnreport.com it's the best meter on the market. Check it out. You'll be glad you did. Looks like we had the plug for the video guy. Any case, isn't this the best thing you've seen on television this year? Zero G. And it's coming to a neighborhood near you. Get your Boogaloo crews ready. Get ready for July 4th for the reboot of the Republic. We need to restore our republic right now. We've got election despotism in America. WMC Action News 5's Ariana Poindexter explains the impact this destruction could have for residents. The video guy is fired. But people want to take their country back. July 4th, it's the restart, the reboot, the revolution, if you will, 2.0. Be there or be square. And it's for real. I mean, these people released a bioweapon. They're trying to kill everyone. They let this virus in. You have a moral duty to fight back and protect yourselves here from this new world order, from this tyranny, from this new Babylon. And, you know, July 4th is only fitting. They tried to suspend your Independence Day they suspended the Constitution. They've taken your rights away from you. They've tried to kill you, genocide you. And now it's time to strike back. What is it with the video guy today? I know we're getting all sorts of glitches in the matrix. But the big breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, more of these death towers are going down. They're getting smoked. And people are trying to send a message. The telecoms ain't listening. And they're just bringing these death towers closer and closer to your homes. And people are fed up with it. They don't want a megawatt radio transmitter on their street. They don't want this giant death tower looming over them every time they come out the door. They don't want these death towers in their neighborhoods. They don't want them at their schools. They don't want them at their shopping centers. They don't want to see them at the gas station. They're everywhere. They're surrounding you. And, you know, we've got the latest propaganda. New Zealand just got rocked with 15 death towers smoked. And, you know, they've brought out the big guns. This is their expert. And you can see these anchors, you know, right at the gates of hell. And they got the devil horns. Pay attention to the anchor on the right. You can see the devil horns clearly on his forehead. Mark of the beast right there on his forehead. It's the pages of the Bible playing out before your very eyes. And they want to chip you. They want to vaccinate you, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. And you should hear their stories. You should hear their excuses for why this is good. You know, you can get all of this, you know, streaming on your phone. And it only costs you your life. We do not consent, ladies and gentlemen. 5G kills. And everybody knows it. The scientific evidence is overwhelming. And, you know, these propagandists on television need, you know, need to face justice. It's just like this virus. It's just like this outbreak. They told people, oh, it's going to be fine. Just wash your hands. You don't need a mask. 
Hundreds of thousands of people have been killed because of their advice. They need to go to prison. You know, we're talking about some serious war crimes here, ladies and gentlemen. They've they've nuked the entire planet with a bioweapon. That's, you know, a war crime. These people are facing the death penalty. They'll, they'll never, ever admit that they're responsible. They'll never investigate themselves. They'll never expose themselves, but they need to be exposed. These people need to be brought to justice, and that's why there's a need for the Boogaloo 2020. They're not going to arrest themselves. They're not going to bring themselves to justice. They're not going to come clean. And they're going to continue to exterminate us until we take them out. They're trying to genocide you. We need to genocide them, ladies and gentlemen. Get your Boogaloo crew ready for July 4th. And if you're in a country that doesn't celebrate an Independence Day, guess what? You're not free. Unfortunately, there's a lot of English-speaking people out there. And then we're taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms, and we're injecting them in the little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. So, Well, that's reassuring. They just shoot them right into the vein. All of these vaccines, all of these drugs. And they're not even doctors. You know, it's like the movie Hostel. You know, they, they put on the gear, and then they're, you know, here to torture you. And if you say anything to the contrary, the television's like coming after you like, you know, like you're crazy. Look, why don't they show us their credentials? If Bill Gates is a, is a medical doctor, let's see his diploma. You know, before he starts vaccinating people, you've seen the videos of him vaccinating people. Where's his medical license to practice medicine? I mean, he's been caught on television committing all sorts of crimes. And the television is like, oh, he's wonderful. He's a philanthropist. Look, you know, people right now, they're living in an environment that's off the scales. Do you think you should be living in a place that maxes out the EMF meter? No. No. Do you think you should be living in a place that's worse than a microwave oven? Look at the readings for yourselves. Right here. You know, the microwave oven doesn't max out the meter. Pretty close. But this guy brings it to the window. This is at Lake Tahoe. And he's not even outside. And it's off the charts. And they want to tell you it's safe. Common sense will tell you this isn't safe. And I bet, look, I bet if all of you were receiving big telecom dollars, you know, a million dollars a year or more, you'd say it was safe too. But that's what's going on. These people on TV, they're paid off. They're not objective. They're not honest. And, you know, their, their misinformation is killing people, just like with this virus. And so you really have to ask yourself what's worse this virus that they unleashed on everyone or their death powers, ladies and gentlemen. In either case, it looks like a war crime. In either case, it looks like these people should be executed. And that means all of these politicians are responsible. You know, they were getting briefings back in February, selling their stocks and telling you to wash your hands. Hello? That's an open and shut case right there. You know, and that's admitted. They were getting secret briefings. That's why they were selling their stocks back in February. And they were telling everybody, oh, everything's fine. Everything's safe. You don't need to worry. Don't you find that a little disturbing? There should be war crime tribunals happening right now in America. And people should be occupying, you know, the state capitals, the city halls. Don't let them pass any more emergency laws. They're criminals. And, you know, given the way the elections are set up, it's called election despotism. When this little group of people has total control over the government, that's not a democracy. That's not a republic. That's a dictatorship. And these people are not duly elected. The laws that they're passing, they're unlawful. And to be quite honest, you know, they, these people have become terrorists. They're terrorizing you with their bioweapons. They're nuking you uh, with their bioweapons, and that's a war crime. I think everybody needs to understand that. We're going to keep repeating that point until it becomes you know, second nature for everyone. These people on television that you see, they're war criminals. The politicians, the reporters, right? And all of these CEOs that run tech companies that are trying to silence you or you know, basically 
take advantage of the situation. You know, like Amazon, for example, they don't mind putting everybody out of business. Their stocks have gone up and their employees are dying, ladies and gentlemen, and they're killing the economy. If you're just joining us, you know, major breaking news out of New Zealand, 15 death towers just burned to the ground. Something's going on over there. It looks like a revolution. And, you know, just, you know, luckily for them, they ran this major Gladio B event last year and took everybody's guns. Otherwise, it would be an armed insurrection right now. But when are these tech companies going to get the, you know, get the hint? When are they going to understand that people don't want these death towers in their neighborhoods? Well, they know. They understand. They know how dangerous these death towers are. That's why they're placing them in your neighborhoods. Don't think that they don't know. This is These towers are meant to kill you. And, you know, they don't want to talk about the evidence. They can't refute the evidence. All they can say is that, you know, people are burning down these death towers and it's an act of terrorism. What's the real act of terrorism here? Erecting a, a, a monstrosity like this in your neighborhood? Near a playground? Near a school? What's more criminal than that, ladies and gentlemen? These people should be executed just for that. I think we need to, you know, revisit our laws. They're obviously there to favor, you know, this new world order system at the expense of the regular citizen. Now, this is a death tower that went down in the Brooklyn Projects, Red Hook. And they took this tower down numerous times. And, uh, you know, they took down one of our videos saying it was organized crime ladies and gentlemen that's what that's what the nazis did when it came to the resistance you know in all of the occupied territories there was a there was a resistance and of course those people were labeled as terrorists as well and it is not a crime to defend yourselves out there it is not a crime to want to survive and, you know, nothing screams death like a giant death tower in your neighborhood. And, you know, if these people, you know, feel like they're being unfairly targeted, why don't they put it to a vote? Why don't they put these death towers to a vote instead of just, you know, unilaterally erect them in your neighborhoods? People are fed up with these death towers. They don't want them. They don't need them. You know, cell phones work just fine in the 90s. You don't need to download a 10 gigabyte movie in 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. There's a landline for that. And, you know, if having a cell phone means you have to basically live in a microwave oven, I mean, maybe we want to rethink the policy here, obviously. You know, they've taken down these death towers from school campuses after cancer clusters erupted. That's been in the news briefly but then it gets censored why because you know these telecoms are spending you know billions of dollars every year with these news networks and you can bet there's a lot of pressure coming from you know the likes of Verizon and AT&T T-Mobile and the like they don't want to see stories about how deadly these towers are but people need to be aware of what's going on out there and not only with these death towers but with this virus you've been nuked by this virus by this airborne AIDS and they let it in they knew it was coming in November they were holding secret briefings back in November and it rolled through America in December and January this is confirmed and at the last day of January Trump you know cuts off the air traffic from China Oh, it was, you know, way, way too late then. And they were still telling people, don't worry. They let this virus in. Fauci's linked directly to the lab to the gain of function research of this very coronavirus. Ladies and gentlemen. And we're starting to see all sorts of interesting news reports about Event 201, Project Zypher, and the like. Operation Dark Winter. 
And we're starting to see a lot of familiar faces in all of these operations, these exercises that went real world. And, you know, the attacks, we're learning that the attacks, the anthrax attacks of 2001 linked to Dark Winter is also linked to Event 201. The same people, the same thing all over again. And, you know, for more on that, check out our video archives. We've got a lot of videos there. I know that, you know, this is a story worth doing. Seeing people, you know, trying to fight for their survival, fighting against the big evil corporations that are trying to kill them. This is a story worth covering. Obviously, we're not taking, uh, you know, money from the telecom industry. If we were, we wouldn't be bringing you stories like this. But you see, all of these news networks on television, they're taking billions of dollars from the telecom industries. They don't tell you that when they run their stories on 5G, but they should. They should disclose the fact that they're getting paid billions of dollars every year by the telecom. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on social media. extremely dangerous to our democracy. You know what's extremely dangerous to our democracy is having this type of propaganda. For fire, all it's... Wow, the video guy is fired. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Tired of the video guy. But, you know, the these people on television are nothing but script readers. They're actors. The politicians are the same way. You've heard the expression, you know, all of the ugly actors, what do they end up being? Politicians. They're actors. They're script readers. There's not a truthful thing about them for the most part. They just tell you what you want to hear. And or else they tell you what you know you need to hear from their perspective and right now i mean these people are in such bad shape their their entire nar narrative on this covid pandemic has blown up in their faces they've been exposed once again as traitors and murderers and now war criminals and they know that if people put two and two together, if they connect the dots, they're going to be executed for war crimes. I mean, they've released a bioweapon, ladies and gentlemen, on the entire planet. Don't ask me what the video guy is doing. You don't want to know what the video guy is doing because he's fired. We've got some other important news to cover. And we want to get there, of course. Be sure to check out our website, stfnreport.com, and follow us on the Twister. Broadcasting live right now. Chills. This is this is the video. This is the video that's going to inspire a nation. Ladies and gentlemen, people have shown up to protest a governor, which was New Jersey governor, and basically the cops show up and they're like, look, we're forced to come here and say this, but... You guys can just keep doing what you're doing. And look, the cops got nuked too. The military got nuked as well. Go ask the USS Roosevelt. All the veterans I know, they're screaming boogaloo. They want blood. Everybody wants these politicians' head on a spike. They want the guillotines. They want the works. Let's not disappoint them, ladies and gentlemen. Be there on July 4th for the Boogaloo. And you got to occupy these buildings until the next election. You got to, you know, take out this election despotism. No more Democrats and Republicans. We want Americans in office. 15 death towers taken down. Three just this past weekend. Busy, busy, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, once they, you know, get the, you know, get the hang of it I mean it's there's nothing like it now we're seeing we're seeing the you know pe the struggle against tyranny everywhere but this is what it's gonna take initially the first battles of this civil war you know are gonna look like this now the, th the thing is is that in other countries they don't have guns so they're just showing up basically with umbrellas and they're still giving them you know, a real tough time. And that's probably why the cops just don't want to get in the way. Do you think they want to take a bullet for Verizon? Do you think they want to take a bullet for Trump? 
Huh? Who wants to take a bullet for Bill Gates? Huh? You know, which cop out there wants to take a bullet for Event 201? Huh? These people nuked you, and, you know, you want to oppress, you know, the citizens? What do you think they were running, Jade Helm, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think? You know, they've been planning this for years. Make the lie big. Make it simple. Keep saying it, and eventually they'll believe it. Washington Governor Inslee pronounced enslave. Governor Enslave wants to keep you at home, wants contact tracers to chase you down. Ladies and gentlemen, forced vaccinations. You know, the Nazis have shown their true colors. Of course, Nazis stood for the National Socialist Workers' Party in German. Socialists, California, right? So it's, it's so ironic that the socialists are calling you socialists so that you can't call them socialists. You see how that works? But they're the fucking Nazis. Pardon my language. End this tyranny, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have what it takes to be a contact tracer? Your job duties are surveillance on the American people. Applicant must be willing to pledge allegiance to the new world order. Bill Gates for prison, bitches. And we, we had the sweetest video, too. I hope we, uh, we got it here. U.S. lockdown protests may have spread the virus, according to the cell phone data. You know, they're spying on you 24-7. They're like, oh, you see all these people that were here? They might have spread the, the virus. But you know what? They're still cramming people into airplanes. They're cramming people into the Walmarts. You don't see them run stories like that. It's only stories on patriots and Christians and people that are concerned about common sense things. Okay, so here's her plan. Close all the businesses, close all the schools way too late, too. They should have done that in January if they wanted to be effective. And it makes you wonder what we pay these people at DHS for. You know, they spend billions of dollars to keep us safe. They've got all this surveillance. And, you know, they're they're telling each other about this virus in November. And they can't even and they can't even protect you. Oh, they need to be de defunded. Defunded. Worse than the World Health Organization. These people all let you down ladies and gentlemen, and they better not stand in the way because they've already proven themselves to be traitors. You know, forget, you know, the witch from Michigan for the second year. Inslee announces uh, contact tracing. This guy's spooky as, as hell, ladies and gentlemen. Hundreds of people marching to City Hall in Spokane. Now, Spokane is in eastern Washington, a heavily Republican uh, area. The western part of Washington is, is Libtard. And so, you know, They've already surrounded their state capital. All they got to do is show up on July 4th and Washington, the state of Washington, can maybe become a free state again. You know, let that state divide in two. I mean, there needs to be some serious movements here, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a classic. You know, this is basically the mainstream media. Don't believe everything you read on the Internet about COVID, 5G, According to Bob Dylan, the drummer of Metallica, that makes sense, doesn't it? Or does it, ladies and gentlemen? This was the reception for the Belgium uh, Prime Sinister at a hospital. Everybody turned their backs to them. That's symbolic when you turn your back on somebody. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, creepy Biden. I mean, you know, this is hardcore election despotism. You know, this is the best they can come up with. We're not even going to go into politics right now. Check out, uh, you know, this citizen's report. And, I'm not you know, she's talking about the lockdown in Minnesota. Everybody is, you know, is tired of this tyranny. And it's just the beginning. Australia calls for COVID-19 inquiry. They're trying to pretend like they're on your side, ladies and gentlemen. Police arrest anti-lockdown protesters. Oh, we had the sweetest vi video of Bill Gates getting clubbed back in the day, but we'll have to save it for next time. And we'll have to leave it there for this broadcast. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Want to give a big shout out to everybody that's in the studio audience before we go. See if we can find you out there. Oh, and this is just going to echo right back in my face. Here we go. Let's see if we can load you up. It's probably going to glitch. Hold on for it. Are we still live, ladies and gentlemen? Anybody out there? 
It looks like it. It looks like it. It's loading. Big shout out to everybody in the studio audience. Be sure to check out the EMF 390 if you haven't already. STFNReport.com. Shop around. You need an EMF meter. It's a lifesaver. It's going to change your life. And you'll realize how bad you're getting dosed. You guys, you guys want us to hang around a little bit more? Well, ask your question. Alien Hunter, we do not consent. Vincent Me, still here. Shafiq, we got a glitch in the matrix. Cher Hall, hugs and kisses out there. Thomas, go after those death towers, ladies and gentlemen. And many more. You know, we're we're fighting against biblical evil out there, against the beast system. There's no choice. Boogaloo, July 4th, 2020. Bring your crew and get serious. You know, everybody needs to start a page right now, okay? Boogaloo, whatever your state is, 2020. Start a page on Instagram, on Facebook. Make it a community page, not just a private group or this and that. Make it a community page. Start sharing our videos. Dress it up. Be consistent. Share it in other groups. Make it big. Blow it up. You can be bigger than your local news. You can be a superhero for your community. You can get people there. Look, we only need 100,000 people per state showing up at the Capitol staying there. You know, there is no army coming in to move 100,000 Americans, you know, laying siege to the state Capitol. All right. And maybe it'll trigger the Civil War that's long overdue. But we're coming for the boogaloo. We're coming for heads. You know, they look, we're not doing this because we got nothing else to do. They just tried and nuke everyone. They tried to kill everyone. Adele, what's going on? Much love out there in New Zealand. Nina, Vincent, Blood Wealth, what's going on? Carney, Beverly, Bob, Sean, boogaloo, Sean. I got to get a hold of you, bro. Any case. Yeah, everybody's getting censored. Join the club out here at the USSA. And it's because of these people in Silicon Valley. Where do you think they want to take you, ladies and gentlemen? They want to take you right into the matrix. Literally, they want to brain chip you, plug you in. They want to assimilate you. They're, they're trying to kill you, people. Look, don't you fucking get that? Of course you get that. They're trying to kill you. Mobster777, what's up, Sweden, out there? They're trying to kill you, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have much choice here. And, you know, everybody needs to be calling for the arrest of Bill Gates. And not only there, look, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be a little confused because they love Trump. Trump let this virus in. He rolled out the 5G. He locked up Assange. He genocided the Kurds. All right. He didn't do anything about the GMOs, the vaccines. He didn't drain the swamp. No term limits. We could go on. We could do this all day. Okay, he's not your friend. You might like him. I like him. But that's not the point. He failed. He failed us. They all failed us. They didn't protect this country. They didn't protect you. They let this virus in. Not only did they let this virus in, they've been planning this for years. We know that Mike Pence was involved in in Operation Dark Winter, the anthrax attack of 2001 linked to 9-11. And that means that, you know, they had this thing already set up before you know, before he was nominated for vice president. And chances are they've been planning this for, you know, 10 years, like 9-11. And so that's why, look, you know, these people are not on your side. And as much as you might like them, as much as you might be a conservative or a Republican, these people have betrayed you. They've tried to kill you. And now they're searching for sympathy. Have you seen the latest headlines? Oh, Trump's on the hydroxychloroquine. You know, big outbreak at the White House, right? And they now they're looking for the pity. They want mercy, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll tell you what, you know, Mike Pence and Mike Pompeo are probably the only two people that I might, you know, let them leave and go to another country. The rest of them, I want their heads on a stick. I want their heads in a basket. I want the guillotines, bitches. They're war criminals. And they try to kill everyone. Why? Because they're greedy bitches. They want the planet all to themselves. And there's no mistaking the evidence here. They were getting briefings at the White House in November. They were selling their stocks in February. And it wasn't until March, that the mid-March, until they locked everything down. Right? You know, who do you think they're kidding? 
you know, we can read between the lines. We understand what's going on here. I want to say, uh, you know, big shout out to Beverly, Jaho, Hammer, Death to the New World Order, Darlene, Rapture 2020, Alien Hunter, Pedro, how you doing? Deuce, Durden, Adam, everybody else out there, Pat's Place. I hope I got everybody. Mine for knowledge. You know, I appreciate everybody, World of Aviation. We appreciate everybody, you know, coming out here for these broadcasts. You know, do like and share. Feel free to, you know, mirror this content. You may get more views than we do. Start pages, Boogaloo, up to stop 5G, whatever you can dream up. Dress it up real nice. Start sharing in the groups. Start telling your neighbors. Start telling everybody you know. Boogaloo 2020. Because you won't look, you don't want to know what they got planned for you next. You've seen enough, haven't you? Check out our video archives for more. We don't want to just keep repeating what we've said already. We'd like to stay here, you know, forever and shout at you. But look, you know, it is what it is out there. And nobody asked for this war. But they want war, they're going to get it. And, you know, it's up to all of you to show up. There's no staying on the couch. There's no, you know, writing this one out on the sidelines. You got to stop these people from passing more laws. You got to take this country back. And these death towers have got to continue to do what they're doing right now, ladies and gentlemen, going back to zero G where they belong. And, uh, you know, big shout out to New Zealand out there. They're on the rampage. Memphis, Tennessee on the rampage. And we need, uh, you know, more heroes out there. But again, you know, check out, uh, you know, everything you can on counterintelligence and, you know, mass surveillance before going on an adventure. Don't bring your cell phone. Be mindful of the CCTV cameras and the like. And, you know, there you go. Watch a couple episodes of CSI. They only, you know, they only um, solve one out of two murders out there. And all the other crimes, it's even worse than that. One out of three, one out of ten. So, you know, the odds are in favor of the people. The big tech companies need to get the hint. We don't want these death towers in our neighborhoods. Until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this...